Yo, what is going on YouTube? Devour here. Today we're going to be going over the top five best class setups to be using in Modern Warfare multiplayer. How we're going to do it is we're going to show a couple of clips with the weapon. As soon as the nuke finishes, then we'll hop right into the class setup to keep everything as quick and as informative as possible. If you guys have no idea what to comment down below, go ahead and drop a Sarah Banks in the comments down below for the boys for the algorithm as you guys can see first up we got the brand new smg like i call it an smg assault rifle the cx9 is absolutely insane it basically has the time to kill of the as valve it has the mobility of like an mp5 and then it also has like the damage range of an assault rifle such as like the m4 really good up to like 50 meters away also i know people are going to ask me which is my favorite this is my new favorite gun class setup to be using right now the gun is still new so not everybody has it if you don't have it leveled up you do need to get this bad boy leveled up also if you have not already come join the discord guys we got over 2500 members the link will be pinned in the comments down below here's our cx9 class setup guys up first we have the very last barrel the cx 38s it gives damage range recoil control bullet velocity and it also keeps us off the radar with that sound suppression as well so it's a built-in suppressor gives you good recoil control makes your bullets hit faster nothing like it is literally the greatest attachment 5 mw laser for hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed really important if you're an aggressive player sprint to fire speed is super underrated you need sprint to fire speed for aggressive players the gi mini reflex this really helps this gun give it a lot more range because the iron sights they're not bad they're really good for like a submachine gun but if you want to have like range like 40 50 meters the gi mini reflex really helps out with that the cx9 tack grip aka stippled grip aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed then lastly we got the 50 round drum mags i feel like this is super necessary if you want you can put the 30 round mags on there instead up next we have the ram 7 guys this is one of my personal favorites this gun kills so fast and its mobility is really really good for an assault rifle as well for how fast it kills now you want to make sure you're using the monolithic suppressor and the second to largest barrel you don't want to use the largest barrel which is the ranger barrel that barrel really hurts your mobility your hip fire spread pretty much everything about the gun goes down aim walking uh speed uh, aim down sight speed everything goes down a lot that's the biggest mistake i see people making when using the ram 7 you want to use the second largest barrel that's the barrel that's going to give you the best bang for your buck without completely killing your mobility all the way over as soon as this nuke finishes we're hopping right into the gun class setup also if you guys feel like i missed any gun on this list in the top five go ahead and let me know put that class setup in the comments down below guys all right moving right into our ram 7 class we got the monolithic suppressor this increases damage range and it also keeps us off the radar but what it doesn't mention is it also increases our bullet velocity so it makes our bullets hit faster and like i said we want to be using the second largest barrel the forge tack eclipse that's going to give you damage range and bullet velocity without killing your mobility 5 mw laser for hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed sprint to fire speed is super important especially if you want to be aggressive you want your gun to be able to come down as quickly as possible then we got the stipple grip tape for aim down sight speed and more sprint to fire speed really important with assault rifles especially if you're an aggressive player you want that like maxed out sprint to fire speed me personally i like to use the 50 round mag if you feel like 30 bullets is enough you can throw on the commando foregrip if you want extra recoil control hopping in next we got the car 98k guys this thing is an absolute menace to society it is by far my favorite gun to be using on shoot the ship as well just look at this we're not we haven't missed a single bullet not one hit marker in sight absolutely insane guys hands down my favorite marksman slash sniper whatever class you want to call it i know it's not technically a sniper but this class setup for multiplayer will turn you into a quick scoping demon i see a lot of people putting on barrels on their car 98k like in warzone yes you do need a barrel but in 6v6 multiplayer you don't want to add on a barrel it just slows down your aim down sight speed so much and it doesn't actually help you get more one shot kills the only thing that's going to help you get more one shot kills is your accuracy hitting from the chest and up so first we got the tactical laser on there for aim down sight speed that's pretty much all we need out of it we just need to maximize our aim down sight speed that way we can be super aggressive i like to use the regular sniper scope some people like to use the variable one but just be aware that the variable one does in fact zoom in slower than the regular sniper scope so it, it doesn't really help you out too much in 6v6 f tac sport comb for more aim down sight speed that's the stock moving right along i like to use sleight of hand because i like to be super aggressive if not you can go ahead and use presence of mind if you want to be able to hold your lungs a lot longer and then lastly we got these stippled grip tape for aim down sight speed 
and sprint to fire speed. Moving right along, we have my favorite submachine gun. This is my personal favorite submachine gun. I love the MP5 because it doesn't feel cheap when I kill people. Like when you kill people with the Uzi, the, the Uzi just, I, I, I feel dirty. I feel like I'm using a 725 almost. But the MP5, I think we can all agree, like, you know, it takes skill, especially to control the recoil at a farther off distance. But the movement with the MP5, in my opinion, is like the best movement in the entire game, especially with this class setup. We got the FTAC collapsible stock on there, which is what you really want to make sure that you have on your mp5 class setup because without that f tac stock your movement speed is going to be super slow and it really defeats the purpose of the mp5 the mp5's purpose is to be up close and personal killing people within 30 meters and just absolutely deleting them off the face of the map before they even have an opportunity to pull their gun up hopefully with this exact same class setup i actually have over 100 nukes already this mp5 class setup is super verified best part about it is you can use either ammo Ammunition. Some people prefer the 10 millimeter. Some people prefer the 9 millimeter. Up first, we have the monolithic integral suppressor for sound suppression to keep us off the radar and bullet velocity to make sure that our bullets hit the target as fast as possible. Then we got the FTAC collapsible stock. As I was saying, this attachment is super important. This is what's really going to give you that God tier movement at the end of the day. Without this attachment, like you're, you're really missing out on what the mp5 truly has to offer being like the best mobility submachine gun in the entire game up next i know some people are gonna fight me on this but trust me like most of the biggest youtubers like myself like hummus thunder like all, all the big youtubers that are good at search and destroy we all use sleight of hand on our mp5 like if you have never tried it before trust us once give it a shot i'm sure you'll love it and then you can totally go 45 round mags or the 30 round mags they're both really good i like to have more ammunition and the 45 round mags are actually more accurate then lastly we got the merc 4 grip for recoil control and hip fire accuracy as well moving right into our next gun guys we have the m4a1 the undisputed king of kings the original king of this game in my opinion when this game first came out the m4 was definitely the best gun hands down and then they started adding in like broken guns and then like they would get patched and like unpatched but the m4a1 has stood the test of time here now in 2021 the m4a1 is still a menace to society and the thing that i love most about this class setup is is that it's like an assault rifle submachine gun it is like a submachine gun up close with the handling the aim down sight speed the sprint to fire speed and the overall mobility but it is an assault rifle at range super low recoil really good damage range really good time to kill even at 40 50 meters plus and the iron sights on the m4 as long as you're using the default variant arguably one of the best iron sights in the entire game in my opinion when you start adding on the variants that's when the m4 iron sights start getting really ugly so if you do want to get better with the m4 110 percent i recommend using just the default m4 iron sights do not use a variant i know you probably bought some tracers for the m4 and you want to use it but uh it, it, it just makes the aim a whole lot worse or you need to use a gi mini reflex and you could have used that attachment into a better slot such as the class setup i'm about to show you as soon as this nuke finishes Hopping right into our M4A1 class, we got the monolithic suppressor up first. That's going to keep us off the radar. It's going to increase our damage range. And it's also going to make our bullets hit faster with a hidden bullet velocity buff as well. Then we got the Corvus Custom Marksman. It's going to increase damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. Same thing with the Ram. You don't want to use the Grenadier Barrel. It has a lot of negative movement minuses that you don't want to take. 5MW laser for hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed to keep our assault rifle super aggressive. Up next, we got the Stipple Grip Tape for aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed as well and then lastly we do have the 50 round mag now if you're good with the default 30 bullets you can put on the commando foregrip if you want extra recoil control or you can put on the forge tax cqb stock that just gives aim down sight speed you want to stay away from the no stock on the m4 it really adds a lot of recoil to your gun that you don't want to be taking at like 30 40 meters plus when you're using an assault rifle up next here's our god tier class setups guys here's the as valve class setup that i would recommend here's the amax class setup that i would recommend again these are the god tier class setups i try not to use them unless the entire enemy team is using them then you know hey like like what can you do you got to pull it out at some point and then here's our uzi god tier class setup as well hope you guys enjoyed the video ggs i think i'll change because when the vicious hear this they're gonna be like wow right. smoking gas living fast wearing velvet yeah. like a four or five to the pelvis anybody go around i'm not selfish and the ladies love me Elvis. Oh.